I'd like to welcome you all for joining us at the third annual Beyond Books Biology Alumni Panel Discussion. Uh, the Beyond Books Panel Discussion brings together an impressive lineup of alumni panelists who have all applied their biology degrees in various entrepreneurial ventures. What better way to support the undergraduates, graduates, and alumni of the Concordia University Biology Department than to host an event in which they could come together and share the wealth of information they have accumulated through years of experience. Showcases the expertise of Concordia Biology graduates and encourages the next generation of students to connect with and learn from those who have been in their shoes. I started my first year at Concordia and I had no idea what I was doing. Later on, I realized that there were many other opportunities at Concordia. And what helped me is events like these. It's a great networking event and also provides us with an opportunity to think beyond the classroom and also get connected with our former students and for developing career pathways. I got to hear a lot of input from many different people with many different backgrounds. When I started my bachelor's in biology, I really didn't know what was going to happen in the future and I just kind of went with the flow, you know, one semester at a time, one exam at a time. When I look back, I'm nowhere near where I wanted to be back then and yet I'm very, very happy today. Now, when I was a kid, my favorite question was, what do you want to be when you grow up? I don't think I ever answered, I want to study mechanisms of peroxisomal biogenesis. <laughs> So I completed my master's here at Concordia in Dr. Dylan Fraser's lab. Now I'm working as a teaching and instrumentation laboratory technician. You bring all these great minds together to talk to us as students, to desensitize us of our fears. You're only as limited as you decided to be. Should you have the opportunities to diversify and maybe take yourself out of comfort zones. No matter what you're doing throughout your career, nothing you do will be for, for nothing. You can always learn something from that, gain a new skill, meet new peoples, make a new connection. This diversification that I had acquired over the years helped me tremendously as I look for future opportunities. Combining law and biology is very unique. It's rare, but it's also in very high demand. The future employers are looking for multi-dimensional experience, expertise in people and how you can transfer those skills. When I was applying, what I would do, because you always want to make sure that your resume stands out from the slush pile, so you go to conferences where you expect you might see teachers and you introduce yourself. Really make sure that when you are applying for a job, you're applying yourself to go through a job. Networking is extremely important. I can safely say that I got my foot in the door um, for all three of my environmental jobs um, because of somebody I knew. Somebody I knew worked there and they took my resume and they passed it on to the right people. I always think of about the plan B because there's always changes that occur, decisions that are made, or work on a plan B so you can think about what you can do should things change. So I want you to do good work as well. Think about what you're doing. What are you spending your time doing? Because if any job is worth doing, it's worth doing well. I wonder what one of the, um, the hardest things that you had to kind of overcome that you struggled with moving from finishing up in academia, finishing up your degree, and then moving into the workforce. It's a big shock to go from grad work to working full time. Um, with big responsibilities and your name gets signed on a report. In biology, I was very detail-oriented and I had to learn to, to see the big picture first. We're in such a culture of looking forward, right? So try and take some time to actually enjoy where you are and what you're doing while well, well, never losing sight of your actual goals. My experience at Concordia uh, was essential to uh, where I am today. Um, not only did I come out with an amazing degree, but I also um, have a community of friends and colleagues and a collection of technical skills that make me stand out from other people in my field. Try to, to use all the, the, the knowledge that you have and Concordia, they say Concordia is a Latin for and harmony, and harmony with your passion in order to achieve the objectives that you wish for in life. Just understand who you are as a person and that's what's great about the undergrad because you get to explore, you get to know who you are. One of the most important things I learned while at Concordia was the ability to apply myself to problem solve and to the ability to learn almost anything. Uh, ask questions, open your eyes, share, explore. And every single time, if you learn from 
whatever caused you not to be successful, then you're improving. And improvement is the most important thing. I think you should also realize what is your personal drive. For me, my motivation was to try to help people. I definitely wanted to contribute to society. I wanted to make a difference. Did you have any mentors? And if you did, how did you choose these mentors? The undergrad level, I think really it was just having people around me that I found that um, improved me. Just working with others. It's going to be the number one thing you got to do is work with others. So it's important for you to uh, create yourself a certain a circle, a network, and exchange, open, build a dialogue, even things that have nothing to do with biology, because you never know how life might turn things around for you. And what you guys are doing here, I admire that. It's great, the networking, the exchanging, and it's important to share. I believe that this has diversified my thinking machinery, you know. It's made me to understand that um, I have to be multidimensional. It just really gives me an insight of being adaptable and that you can always find something that you love and do. I thought I had, you know, two, maybe three options, but now I'm realizing there are so many more available to me. I learned a lot from the panel uh, panelists. They gave me more insight than I actually came here for. And so now my cup is actually full. The future is what you make of it, and hopefully we will all have bright futures.